And literally, people were booing at him. And, you know, that's another thing I learned, too. It's like, we had we have created a little fan base, and people are protective over us. And when you don't put in the work and you're complaining about it, it doesn't look good on the celebrity. Um, I only had one of those, fortunately. But Rob's quickly, just something changed in him. And I think, you know, our bond got closer, but he be started believing in himself. And you know, he loved it. I just like, I remember I said to him, I think what switched in his brain was like, just make fun of all the pro dancers. Like literally, what do you think that they do when they shimmy or shake their boobs? You know, like, what do we do? And he just, that was our like our little inside joke. And I just made it fun for him. And what's been interesting throughout my last, you know, for the last 26 seasons is figuring out how people communicate and trying to um, alter my teaching methods, because you have to, for people that, you know, some people may learn visually, some people may learn, um, you might have to talk to them in layman's terms or whatever it is, but it's it's that challenge. And then hopefully them being able to overcome the challenge, you know, which is beautiful. Wow, and I didn't realize he got booed at me. I don't think we realized that at home. I no, remember. maybe not. Wow. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Who would you like, You Kim was on, Rob was on, if you just had to, I mean, anyone, Caitlin, Chris, any of the children, who do you think would be from the Kardashians? And that should go next. Scott like, Disick. I definitely think he should do it. He would be great. I think, I don't know if he would do it, but I think this would be, I think, he, first of all, he loves to dress up and um, I think he would be perfect for the show. I'm He's, shocked he hasn't done it. I'm shocked he hasn't done it. He's Lord Disick. You could do a whole theme on that. I mean, he'd be a great, yeah. He'd be a great character, but again, not my uh, decision. I mean, are you volunteering yourself, Cheryl? Even though you've said on the Birth <laughs> no, in the I... Game podcast that apparently you're done. I said likely. <laughs> um, look, I don't know. I, I, I don't know of these old hips. I mean, if you were to see my body, I've got bruises everywhere. Like, I'm, you know, if it happens, let's say he does get cast, who, you know, Ryan Locke, I danced with Ryan Locke. Yeah, I came out of retirement then too. So you never know. <laughs> I told you I spoke before we started. I spoke to Jack Osborne earlier today yeah. on air, so I'm not revealing anything. He says, okay. oh, please. Cheryl says this every season. No, she's... I know. Oh, my gosh. I know. He knows I said, so I well. think she's serious this time. Sounds like it, at least from yeah. your podcast. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Obviously, I can't predict the future. But in my heart, I think this is the first time where I can't even tell you. It sounds so woo-woo, but like my horoscopes, my everything is just like, we got to move, push it forward. Got to, you know, stay, you got to get out of the comfort zone a little bit. And this is the thing for me. I get very comfortable in a good way. Like I only know this family since I've been here since 2006. Um, and it's emotional, you know, it's, it's, it's like a, it's a full on marriage, <laughs> whether you like it or not, whether it was arranged or not, whether we divorced a million times or not. It's like the, they will always have a special place in my heart. But you know, like anybody, I think it is important for me to challenge myself and to also see what else is out there. Um, I'm hoping it's with the Dancing with the Stars family. I mean, like anyone, I'd love a promotion. <laughs> I've had the same job title for a long time, for 17 years, you know, so. I know you mentioned like the right a promotion and maybe at the judges table, but what about, you know, like we've had former contestants like Brooke Burke and Aaron Andrews, but mm -hmm. as a host, but we've never really had one of the professional dancers as a host. I agree. Your words to God's ears. Would you like that job? Let's manifest it. Listen, I'm not trying to steal anyone's job either, but this is a two hour show with no commercial breaks. I do believe that there are other spaces available, whether that maybe mean I'm a mentor to, um, cause I also think that third eye is freaking a necessity, especially, you know, as a pro, it was really difficult for me cause I'm not married to a dancer, never married a dancer, don't plan on marrying one, you know? So it was like, a lot of these married couples can help each other behind the scenes. It was just like me, myself, and I, you know? And so it's like, you need a third eye because you're dancing with the person, you need somebody. And then also a lot of these women celebrities call me up and they gravitate towards me because I've been on for so long and they're like, is this normal? Oh my God, I feel like I'm never gonna be able to, you know? And so like currently I'm mentoring, I feel like Vinny, you know? And I love him, he's such a great guy. But like, there is also a moment where, you know, some people just need to hear and not from their coach because it's like selective hearing at this point because this person's been barking at you for what, nine weeks now. And sometimes it's refreshing to hear someone else say the same thing basically, right? But in a different tone. 
That's interesting. I didn't even think of that. Like Project Runway has Kristen Seriano. Even The Bachelor has these mentors yeah. now. So yeah. that's an interesting. The Bachelor does? Why? Well, I think when they change it all around and Chris Harrison oh. left, they have like people that are not really the host, okay. but they're kind of like mentors. Oh, got it. I agree with you. Why? But it's I've never seen it. So I, I, I but I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. It's people Everyone that were like mentor. on it before that are just kind of like hanging there, I think, like kind of like a pet got dog. It. Got it. But we also did Dancing with Stars Juniors. We were mentors there. So that's a good. Is there other like platforms like America's Got Talent? Like you say, like it could be outside of the Dancing yes. with Stars family. Totally. And, 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 you know, I'm open to anything. I think that it's okay for me. It's freaking scary though. Like I am not one to live in any uncomfort or uh, uncomfortable situations or uncertainty. You know, that is just, that is not necessarily what you would say when you say the two words, Cheryl Burke. <laughs> it's not, oh, she loves living in fear and she's so correct. No, it's the opposite. And, but that's why I'm pushing myself because I truly believe that I can um, be of service to a bigger, you know, uh, part of this world than just my celebrity, which is beautiful. But I also know that I've done that, and I know there's a lot of dancers that want my job. Yes, and yes. So <laughs> never say never. You might be back next season. Just like Justin Bieber, never say never. What about, you know, I speak of you as a host, if not a mentor. I mean, I'm going to put that out into the universe. What about how do you think Tyra is doing as a host? Look, you know, she, first of all, she looks gorgeous. She looks gorgeous last night. Second of all, you know, people are really, I mean, I don't, she is such a strong woman just to be able to walk out there with her head up and do her thing because she must either not read social media or, or what, but like, I just give her props because it's not easy. And I'm, I don't know if, I mean, anyone could do a better job, especially walking into a machine like Dancing with the Stars, because we are a machine. You know, it, it can basically, I mean, it can't, but like for the most part, it runs itself. And it's been this huge um, part of a lot of people's lives. Um, and these, you know, some names are not easy to pronounce. <laughs> it's just the way it is. <laughs> like you try saying Artem's last name. I've known Artem since we were, what? 10 years old he lived in my parents pool house in the bay area when he first moved here and i can't even like it's it's not easy you know and there's a lot of pressure live television i mean even i mean dancing is just because i was born like dancing i swear to god I, bo I was born dancing on live tv but i couldn't even tell you how i'd feel if i had to host the thing you know it's it's it is nerve-wracking and i mean to your point i think there is this like let's jump on tyra thing without even really watching or focusing on what's going on well that's the thing it's like people are so fixated on the negative sometimes that um you know the producers are probably just saying to themselves at least they're talking about us 